What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys the retouch module in Darktable. Because last week I received a comment on my three easy ways to increase the brightness of your image in Darktable video. The comment was made by PRD Park and he said, Great videos. I was wondering if you could make a video on skin retouching. Please, it would be really helpful. Cheers. So this one's especially for you. Let's get behind the computer and let's get to work. This is the image that we will be using today. I've shown you guys this image before in GIMP. I did a retouch of this model. I removed the blemishes and all the acne of her face. And now I'm going to show you guys how to do that in Darktable using the retouch module. I've already opened it. If you don't see it, it's over here in this menu right here. It's the correction group menu. But if you don't see it, please go to more modules and then find it in the list down below. First, what we're going to do is we are going to increase the layers right here like this. And now before we can start on the image, let's click on this layer right here. The second to last layer uh, and I'm going to show you guys what happens. So click on this symbol right here. It's called auto levels and the levels will be adjusted accordingly. And now this is the image that you'll see. And if we press all the other scales, this is what happens. What we're going to do is we're going to go back as far as we can till we see the first spot over here. So this is the first layer that we will be working on. And what you can do right now is hit control and then click on this little symbol right here. It'll add a circle. And now I'm going to decrease the size of the circle a little bit to make it match the blemish right here that we'll see. I'm going to click it once and then drag my mouse to the right side or the left side but in this case the right side because that's where the face is and now I'm going to let go of my mouse and now the spot has been removed. Uh, you see a little bit of thing over here which isn't very nice. I'm going to keep it. I'll adjust this later on. So let's go to the second layer. And now we can see a lot more blemishes or a lot more acne. So I'm going to click the spot again, holding the control button, then release the left mouse button. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do that for every spot that we see and every spot that we want to adjust. So here's another one. And I saw here's another one as well. And here's another one. And the important thing that you want to do is you want to use the source as close as possible to the spot. So here's a spot and I want to use this source right here. That's how close you want to go because that way you won't have a certain skin color or skin lightness or whatever being placed on a different part of the face where the light is different and that way you won't really notice that this has been changed or altered. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward this layer and then I'm going to move on to the next layer. What I forgot to mention in the tutorial is that the layers have a green line over them after you've done an edit on them and if you didn't edit on the layer there's not a green line on top of it. And that way you can distinguish for yourself that, okay, I have worked on that layer before and I haven't worked on the other layer. So that's what I need to focus on right now. So let's go back to the computer and let's continue with the tutorial. And now the next layer has been selected. And as you can see, you can still see the spots again. So we are going to change these accordingly by doing the same thing. So click on it first. Hold the left mouse button, drag it to the side, release the left mouse button and still have the control pressed. That way you can use or yeah, basically you can use several of these spots without going back to the circle tool over here to reselect it. And now you can just go in one go. So let me fast forward this again till I'm at the next layer and then I'll talk to you guys in a minute. So now I'm at the next layer and as you can see the acne and the blemishes are back in the face. 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and run through all of these layers and then everything will be fine. And the reason why is because an image is made out of several layers. And by using this module and by using these layers, you are basically peeling it off step by step and then basically repairing it step by step, layer by layer, and then the end result will be fantastic. I'll show you guys, I'll run through them, and then I'm going to show you guys the end result right now. And this is the final image. I think it turned out great. The retouch module does an absolute amazing job in removing all the blemishes and the acne. And this is a great way to improve the image. And don't forget guys, this was a photo with a model that had a lot of blemishes and acne in her face. So it's very hard to reconstruct the face perfectly. But just imagine taking a landscape picture or something and you've got a fine speck of dust on it. This is a very great way to remove that and to have an awesome perfectly shot picture after using it in Darktable. And that's it for this week. There's just one more thing left for me to say which is make love to that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video. And until next time, doei!